So, this is a, a Romba charger and it is not working, the LED uh, don't uh, bright up. I'm just going to open it and see what is going inside and you know. Uh, this is the, the platform, the base. Uh, so I, I think that this is fine, but I think mm, the problem is inside this charger. So I'm just going to open it. And I think that mm, under these things I will find uh, the screws. So I'm going to take them out. And yeah. Here we go. And so I'm going just to take it apart. Okay. So now this is a, a Philips uh, screwdriver. A Philips screw. So I will take those, those ones out. Uh, I'm going to take this like all apart. Put it out. And let's see what we have inside. Okay. Mm, so let's take this out. And this too. Okay. So what we can see here. At Nakara, it seems that everything's fine, I think. I think that the first thing that I'm going to check is if, if the power is, is coming inside that and if I will get some output of this power supply. So I'm going to connect this. There is no voltage output at all, so mm, I'm going to check all the parts of the circuit. See what if we are getting the voltage there. Yes, we have power there. And I'm going to check what we have at the capacitor filter. Okay, so this is negative and this is positive. We have nothing at all. Nothing. Mm, that seems pretty interesting. I'm going to check if it is this fuse here, this one here over there. Uh, okay, so this fuse is, is open. This one over there is, is open, so I'm going to take it out, desolder it, and I don't have anything to replace it. The way that I found uh, the failure was that um, I didn't uh, got any voltage here that this is uh, this should be negative and this should be positive because uh, the capacitor uh, is placed with its negative uh, pole or negative pin in, in, in that place and this should be the, the positive then and I didn't get anything uh, on those two places so 
uh, and I didn't get uh, any other thing here or there so yeah, I'm pretty sure that it must be this fuse that is connected in, in series so you can see there that this is going over there and then through the fuse and then here through the, this uh, harmonic filter and then it goes through this uh, diode bridge and then it goes to this filter with that capacitor and then it goes to the control circuit and the transistor, the power transistor and then the transformer and the secondary and second step uh, conversion and rectification and all, all that things so it should be the fuse because I don't get anything uh, on this part of the circuit so it should be that it is so the way I'm, I'm going to desolder uh, this fuse is uh, putting here a little bit more of of lead because uh, the the factory lead is not quite good it usually is not so good and then a little bit more here and then with my solder palm I'm just going to heat it and Okay, another one is out. Okay, another one is out too. So okay, so the fuse is out and I'm going to test it. Uh, place the, the iron here. So I'm going to test it again. Yeah, it, it's open. And I'm sure that you cannot see it, but here it says that it's a 200, 200 volts, 205, 250 volts and 1.5 uh, amperes amps sorry 1.5 amps and it is open so we can assume that it is broken so next uh, i'm going to replace that that fuse with a wire so just to to short circuit the fuse and see if it works and then if if it works uh, then i can uh, go to the shop and buy a new fuse and put it there and then it will be fixed. Bend it this way and put it there. Put it there then open it here a little bit and then Hold it in place. So I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to plug in it. And oops, this side first. And then I just hope that the LED brights up. And I'm going to to put uh, to wear my glasses, my protection glasses, in case that it's it blows up, I hope no. Let's see. Yeah, it blow it up. In so nice way. Yeah. Nice. Ah, I think it has been one of the induct inductors. I'm going to desolder uh, the inductor, this one over there, and see if I can replace it with <laughs> another short circuit. <laughs>